Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a video today on um, the ultimate NCLEX resource um, and an ultimate resource for nursing school as well. You guys know that I have worked with Picmonic for a couple of years now. I love Picmonic. They're sponsoring this video and they came out with their cheat sheets uh, little workbook here and I wanted to go through it with you guys and show you all about what it's about because I think this can be super helpful if you are in nursing school or you are trying to prepare for the NCLEX all the time you guys ask me what workbooks can I use what books what study resources can I use for preparing for the NCLEX or to help me through nursing school and I always 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 recommend Picmonic and it's so nice now that they have like a tangible um, cheat sheets book because some people just really prefer to like physically have something in their hands versus just being on the app some people prefer to you know be on their phone on an app and the great thing about Picmonic is they have both. They have an app, you can be on your computer, or now they have this awesome workbook that can go in conjunction with their app. So I kind of want to go through this a little bit with you guys so you can see if this is something that'd be helpful for you all. Um, this is a research-based proven method to help you study for nursing school and the NCLEX. There's 70 cheat sheets in here, and what I love about it is it's very thin. And I don't mean this in a bad way, I mean it in a good way because it's so overwhelming when you get nursing textbooks and they're like this thick. It's like, I don't even want to start because I just I just can't. I, I feel overwhelmed and I haven't even began yet. But this is just over 80 pages, which if you think about it, you could do one page a day and be done studying in two and a half months. And that's super reasonable because look at these pages. They're all very concise and they're filled with lots of pictures and graphics and that's what Picmonic is known for is their fun graphics and characters that they use um, to tell stories to help you with nursing school content so for example if you're learning about i don't know you're in your ob semester and you're learning about placenta accreta or placenta previa they will use fun nursing characters and different graphics to help you learn that information so it helps you like trigger your memory it helps you remember information in a fun and meaningful way i know when i was in nursing school i literally would make up stories to learn information so like if i was learning about i don't know high blood pressure i would make up some funny story to help me remember like what high blood pressure was what's primary hypertension what's secondary hypertension but picmonic does it for you so it makes it super easy you don't have to come up with your own like stories they literally create all of these stories for you. And what's nice is on these pages here, they have a QRS code. So you can literally use your phone, scan it, and it goes directly to the app. So if you are learning the information here, you can also learn it um, on the app on the go. But you don't even need to use the app if you don't want to, um, it is helpful. But this goes over all of the main content that you're gonna need to know for the NCLEX and that you cover in nursing school. It also goes over test taking strategies, which we can all use more test taking strategies. It's like, it seems like even if you know all the information, it doesn't matter if you aren't like a great test taker. So it gives you strategies and resources to help you out with that. Really quick, I wanna read to you guys all of the things that this book covers um, because I think it would be helpful to hear. But it covers one, test taking strategies, which I just told you about, lab values, fundamentals, cardiovascular, respiratory, integumentary, immune, endocrine, gastrointestinal, electrolytes, hematological, musculoskeletal, nervous, uh, reproductive slash obstetrics, pharmacology, and yeah. So literally all of the main information that you need to know for the NCLEX and nursing school um, is in this book and it's super reasonably priced and you can get it on Amazon, which is even better. I feel like if you can't get something on Amazon, like why would you even wanna get it? So I will leave a link down below for you guys to check it out. I'll also leave the Picmonic link down below. If you wanna check out Picmonic, you can try it out for free with my link. So um, it's kind of a no brainer um, for you guys to use this in conjunction with the app, get more bang for your buck, so to speak. Um, but yes, so I hope you guys check this out. Let me know if you do and how you like it. I know a lot of you guys have used Picmonic because I talk about them all the time. And I love when you message me and say like, I use Picmonic and I passed my NCLEX or I've been using them and it's super helpful. I'm doing better in nursing school. So, um, so many of you guys have such positive feedback. I've literally never heard any negative feedback from you guys about Picmonic. So check them out. Let me know what you think and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Remember hypertension assessment as the assessed man cracking down on a chef with high blood pressure. Essential hypertension, shown by the Espresso Hiker BP, 
is idiopathic but may be linked to genetics, poor diet, or obesity, whereas secondary hypertension, shown by the 2-2 hiker BP, is the result of a disease or medication. Assessment findings may include a headache shown by the hiker BP planting a flag in the chef, causing a head egg lump, vision changes shown by the delta signs, or a nosebleed, the chef's nose bleeding. Patients may experience chest pain shown by the chest pain bolts or syncope, the medical term for fainting shown by the sync of peas fainting. Diagnosis criteria include taking an average of two sets of readings, two minutes apart, shown by the two sets of BP cuffs with the 2-2 clock between, as well as having elevated blood pressure readings on two or more visits, shown by the second visitor sign-in. Nursing considerations include taking the BP in both arms, the BP cuffs on both arms, and keeping in mind that hypertension is common in African Americans. In summary, there are two types of hypertension, essential and secondary. Assessment findings for either may include a headache, vision changes, nosebleed, chest pain, and syncope. Diagnosis includes averaging two sets of readings two minutes apart and doing so over two or more visits. Take the BP in both arms and remember this condition is common in African Americans.